Morning day five. I'm just uh, setting up to start breakfast. Haven't got the fire going yet. This sure is better than waking up in a storm on a swampy campsite. This is what I think about when I plan canoe trips is, is this kind of campsite. Open point. Calm mornings, blue sky. Of course it's not always like this. This is the small type of cooking fire rock set I prefer when I'm using my Purcell Trench Grill. It's uh, C-shaped. It's open on one side so I can I can feed sticks in. You'll see um, it's a little hard to tell on camera but the flames tend to be drawn in because there's a high back. Now that's not the highest back I've ever made because um, I was limited with the rocks but the higher back I call chimney rocks. Um, they they seem to draw the flame in from the front and then up the back. They, they also reflect a lot of heat back. Ideally you have a big huge chimney rock um, but I don't have that. And it's very simple to make and you can serve a lot of firewood because you just feed sticks in underneath and they can burn out. I'm on a, a bedrock base here so it's nice and safe. Um, you just feed them in as they burn. You don't have to cut them all short if you don't want to. And uh, it really conserves wood. I really like it. I see um, everywhere I go I see fire circles with the complete circle. And to me that shuts off your area for feeding wood. And it shuts off the air draw a bit. I really like this C-shape with the chimney rocks. So even, even though the wind is coming, is blowing the smoke this way now, there's a draw, there's a draw in and the, and the flame comes up and then it's, it's now blowing that way. So you tend to get a vortex when you have a chimney rock in the back. You can scale this to be as big as you want. This is <clears throat> Ova Easy Egg Mix. Uh, it works out really good. I'm just about to flip this here. Add some Tex-Mex seasoning on the top. You just mix the Ova Easy eggs with water. Um, it's pure egg crystals. I look it up on the internet, Ova Easy. Uh, works out really good every time. It's my new favorite breakfast starter. So the second course for this morning is my power pack pancakes. I got all kinds of ingredients in there, too long to mention. The base is bannock mix, and then I add uh, all kinds of other ingredients at home and pre-mix it. So I just have to mix this up with water and I'm frying that in olive oil. So I prefer, uh, I've, I used to I used to have quick hot cereals but they have lots of sugar in them and uh, I've switched over to a diet of um, uh, more uh, fats in the morning instead of uh, sugars and I find it's uh, sitting well in the stomach Oh, and I'll put raspberry jam on there. Raspberry jam travels well. It's never gone bad on me. Here, I'll show you. <clears throat> I keep it in uh, an Algene jar. 
and uh, this travels forever. It's never gone bad. And it goes good on power pack pancakes in Greece. Flipped. Nice golden brown. And it's absorbing all that olive oil. Mm -mm. Well, it's a beautiful, beautiful day on day five of the trip, and I'm declaring a day off. I've worked hard to get here so far, so yeah, I think a day off sounds good. But I've got some chores to do on days off, like cleaning socks and underwear and uh, I got some hot water to help with that to make him even cleaner I might try some fishing this afternoon it's hard to take a day off on days like this because these are perfect traveling days I could make major miles here and the portages would be easier because they were dry and not slippery but decisions made. I slept in. It's too late to get going now, so I'll enjoy the day off and do some chores. I was lucky and was able to catch two walleye. I got the fillets here bagged and staying cool in water. Rocks so they won't wash away. And uh, yeah, really, really glad to be able to catch those. I walked down the shore uh, past there. There's a, a game trail, caribou moose trail, back over a hunk of rock into deep water. I was able to cast off there. Wasn't easy though, it took me took me close to an hour to catch two. Still kind of bright. Caught them between uh, 3.30 and 4.30. Well that's my that's my fish board. It's a piece of foam with uh, a cutting board fastened to one side so there's no impediments to the knife's the knife sliding down there and uh, I just have it clipped to a branch and I'll just let it float there and let that float overnight um, if a bear comes by uh, he can have it but at least it's out in the water getting washed I, I scrubbed it down and uh, yeah it's, it's hopefully it's out of the way of, of a bear coming through or it min minimizes it anyway so I tucked that under a couple of uh, shock cords under uh, the other canoe seat in my canoe that I don't use. So it's really ultra light and uh, really comes in handy. Walleye fillets makes all those portages and bugs and sweat worthwhile. Cooking up golden brown, seasoned with garlic and Tex-Mex seasoning. And that's not all, that's just one fish. I got another one over there in the bag. Woohoo!